Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Dee. I'm a state beauty artist, a Monette brand partner, a DIY lash enthusiast, and a lover of all things beauty. Um, so I'm going to be talking about none of the three things that I mentioned. I'm going to be talking about a beauty product. So one thing that I do on my channel is I talk about a variety of different things, all beauty skincare related. I am a skincare junkie. I'm a beauty junkie. So if I see a product that I'm interested in, I always want to come on here and showcase it, kind of give you a first impressions and all that stuff. Don't my, my, mind my eyebrows. I just tried a new product. Um, I will have the video up, but it is a new drugstore product uh, and um, it's a little scary. So they, my brows are way in your face. So if you notice that, yes, they are not normally like this. They are very, very dark, but I'm going with it because I just did a video on it. So that will come up. It's a brow revolution, brow stamp kind of thing. And that's what it came out to. So. If you like them, make sure you check out my video. But anyways, today's video is going to be on a new product that I saw at hitulta.com. It is Max Dry Lash Dry Shampoo Mascara Refresher. So I've never seen anything like this before, so I definitely had to grab it. Basically what it says is hit refresh on your mascara, apply over set mascara to revive your lashes, no makeup remover needed. So I guess if you like sleep in your lashes or sleep in your makeup and the next day you just want to refresh your dry or your mascara, this is kind of like dry shampoo for your uh, mascara. So here it shows you like this is before, this is supposedly after. It says 91% said lashes look revived and more amplified. And how you're supposed to do it is apply over dried and set mascara. The lash teaser brush combs through lashes without tugging. And this is in the color. I think they only had one color. I don't even know what color it is. I think it's black. But so I thought this was interesting. I do have mascara on. It is not my favorite. It is a regular, I think it's like Maybelline Extreme Length or something like that. I normally use Thrive Cosmetics or the Tarte Tubing Mascara, but I figured for this review, I wanted to do a regular mascara because I don't know how this is going to work with tubing mascara. Um, I will tell you right off the bat, I do not have like high hopes for this product, mainly because I do like to wash my face every single night. So I take my makeup off. Since I've been doing that, I've noticed such a bigger difference in my skin, how much prettier my skin is, how much less makeup I need because my makeup, my face is not super inflamed and I'm getting, I'm being more consistent with my skincare. So I do not like, like to me, the only time I would actually use this is on the days that I forget to do my makeup, but I could see this like when I was in my early 20s going out clubbing and then like, oh crap, my alarm clock went off and now I'm late for work and let me just hurry up and refresh my mascara. Like that's what I see this as, as a almost 40 year old with two kids and a household to maintain. <laughs> I mean, maybe there might be days, but yeah, this is, I don't know, I'm not sure. So let's look at this. So this is what the wand looks like. It is very, it's gigantic. I mean, it's a big old wand, but you're apparently supposed to just run it through your lashes. So let's see what it does. It's definitely spiky. So I do feel like it is doing a good job of like combing through my lashes. I did get some on my skin. But it is tugging a little bit. I mean, I can definitely feel it combing, but I can feel it tugging just a tad, but not bad. Not where I feel like it may be ripping my eyelashes out, but and I don't know how much to put on. I'm just like going through. So there's a slight difference. Now granted, in full honesty, I have not been wearing this mascara all day. Um, it's probably been about five hours, so it's not like the next morning, but. So it's not bad. I mean, it's building it up, but again, I just don't understand the concept. It's nothing like magical. 
maybe what I'll do tonight, so you can see the difference there. I mean, it definitely does do something. It's refreshing, it's volumizing it or whatever, and I feel like it's doing a good job of separating. So I could see how if you slept in your mascara, you smashed your face against the pillow, woke up with your lashes all wacky, this would help kind of comb them through. Um, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to leave this one here and I'm going to let this one sit and then I will take my makeup off, but I will not take my mascara off. I'm fine with that. I'll get around it or whatever. And then I will come back in the morning and show you guys what it looks like, like 24 hours wearing it, what it does, because I feel like that's the only way to really, really test the product. Otherwise, I don't know what the heck you would use this for. But let me go ahead and do that and I'll come back tomorrow where we will revamp it up and see if it does anything. Okay, so it's the next morning. You know how I did that whole spiel about, I never take my, I always take my makeup off and don't sleep in your makeup because it will age you, blah, 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 blah. Well, do as I say, not as I do, because last night I had a glass of wine, ended up falling asleep and didn't take my makeup off. So that's where we are. So I decided to come on here. I look like a hot mess, but this is real life. And you can see here, I did not do anything to my face, didn't wash anything off or whatever. So I wanted to come back on here and put this on the side and see if we can refresh this over a day slept in mascara. So one thing I will tell you is, um, aside from the glitter all over my face, I don't even remember wearing glitter. What was I wearing yesterday? I don't know. But you can see here, this is the one that I did in the fresh, kind of more fresh mascara. And it is like, don't sleep in this stuff because it will go flake all over. I did notice that towards the end of the day, like I don't touch my eyes, but sometimes, you know, I'm like, I feel like I have something in it and I go like this and I felt like there was flaking. So definitely first problem I see is flakiness. So I'm gonna go in, you can see here again, haven't done anything with it and let's see if I can refresh this. too bad now is it so a couple things I noticed um, there was no tugging so for whatever reason and I don't know why and I'm not going to explain it in this thing because I don't scientifically know but when I did it the first day on like fresher mascara I did feel tugging like I felt like it was kind of scraping my lashes not a big deal where I felt like they were going to damage them but anything could damage your lashes I mean your lashes are just you know it's just like any kind of tugging this one did not tug at all. Like it was super smooth, like butter. I didn't feel like, I felt like it was separating my lashes, but it wasn't really, it wasn't getting caught on anything. But look at that, holy moly. Like that does a really, really good job. I'm surprised, I just got it on my skin. Let me try this side and see. If I can refresh this side, which looks like a hot mess. Express. This is the side that I sleep on, so that's why it's a little bit more like because I smashed my head my head in the pillow. Hey. You know, work hard, play hard. Work hard, sleep hard. This side was a little bit harder, but it is doing a good job of cleaning that up. Not bad at all. So I think the moral of the story is if you are a hardcore partier um, and you're in your 20s and you're a college student and you go to a frat party or sorority party, whatever, and you sleep in your makeup and then you have to wake up the next morning and look presentable, have this in your pocket because this will take care of your mascara. Other than that, I honestly have no idea why I would use this because it doesn't work on fresh mascara. It does work on 24 you know, our mascara, but I don't want to sleep in my mascara and I don't want to sleep in my makeup. So I honestly don't know. Like, please, if you're watching this video, please tell me, use, give me some other examples other than the fact that I'd be sleeping in my makeup where this would be appropriate. I mean, it does a fabulous job, but I mean, I guess I have it on hand on the nights that I do sleep in my makeup. I 
I just can't think. But yeah, so I just, I could have used something like this when I was in my 20s. Now I'm in my 40s, mm -mm. I had a glass of wine and I slept on my makeup. Like that should tell you everything you need to know about my life. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave your comments below. If you end up trying this, I would love to know your thoughts. Did it work on you? And if you have any ideas of how this would be helpful for a 40, almost 40 year old something with two kids and that doesn't party or considers partying a glass of wine and falling asleep, uh, let me know. Anyways, until next time, bye.